Mario from US Egg, and we're talking fall soups. And chef, oh my goodness gracious! Every time we came through the studio, it just started smelling better and better and better. And now it's amazing. Thank <laughs> what you. are you doing? Well, I'm making soup. What are you doing? Oh, get okay, it over here. Good enough. Well, we're seeing hey. a lot of live, very colorful, very aromatic foods here. So. Tell me what, what makes a fall soup different from Let every other you, soup. The, the last thing people think about when they think of U.S. egg is soup, but they should start thinking differently. Yeah. Our soup is the best. It's like a hidden secret at our restaurants. We've got fresh soups that you just can't get anywhere else. Didn't you tell me that your customers just bold to face trying they, to get that last? Well, what I'm making today is a spicy chicken. And what I do, I noticed that they were just slurping it up at the end. So what I do is I have all my chefs <gasps> get this jalapeno trick. and just... What happens then? Rim the outside, because when they go ahead and get that last slurp, they get that pow of the, of the last, uh, it makes it really spicy. Look at all the picks up their they sleeves literally over just, there, they, they slurp it right up, so we just celebrated our 32nd year anniversary. We're Happy an Arizona-based, family-owned and operated yes. company. Just proud to have been here that long. Yeah. Serving up delicious food for uh, all the Phoenicians. So what's the one that you're making for us now, spicy I'm making a chicken? spicy chicken. All I put in here was a mirepoix, just some unsalted butter, onions, carrots, and celery. And then, um, this is a spicy chicken, so with the jalapeno, mm -hmm. we just slice it right down the middle. Seeds in? And just oh, seeds in. Oh, nice. Throw it right in there. <laughs> this would be good for you if you had like a stuffy nose. Oh, yes. Oh, man, it's, yeah. it's delicious. Have some tissues. We put in a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic. Now, this has got, I can't make the whole soup. I'm just showing you guys how to make the base here. Okay. So that's, that's pretty much the base. After this works together for a while, you can add your chicken base. So that's just got to work for a while. Now, are you making all the soups this way? Just kind of homemade? They're all, all the homemade. From we, scratch? They're all from mm. scratch. or from my father, Oscar, that used to make the soups back in the 80s at our uh, restaurant in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And we brought all those soups to Phoenix. You've got a five mushroom soup here. You've got shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, button mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, baby, mm. uh, baby portobello. It's just a delicious liquid mushroom Very soup. Creamy. You've got a <laughs> lentil with bacon here. Just Yummy. delicious. You could just walk through a wall right after you eat that. You're, you're so strong after you eat that lentil. You just walk. And is this the one you're making this us This is here? actually a veggie beef, which is this one that's piping smoking hot over yeah, here. Yeah, it is. As good <laughs> it as is. So I'm making, uh, this one here is the, the spicy uh, mm. chicken is what I'm making. And now that those have worked together just for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken base about two ounces of oh. chicken base. Now, are these on separate days, or I can get any of these soups on Whatever our chefs are inspired to cook that day, okay. they make us not oh. like a different restaurant where they have a set soup every day. Right. We just do whatever they're inspired to do that morning is what we do. Well, Jamie's doing a good job of tasting, but I we'll, we'll have that. the official tasting after the yeah. break when we come back. And you can tell us where you're located and all that jazz. All right.